China has just pulled off something that almost nobody thought was possible. SMIC, the Chinese chipmaker that not long ago was seen as crippled by U.S. sanctions, has announced the development of its 2 nanometer chip, a breakthrough that could upend the global technology order. For years, the United States believed that by cutting China off from the most advanced tools, it could freeze Beijing's progress in semiconductors. But now the script has flipped. SMIC not only produced a working prototype, but it is already laying the groundwork for mass production. This isn't a distant dream or a flashy lab demo. It's a real functioning technology leap, one that is shaking the very foundations of the tech world. The reveal sent shockwaves across the industry with disbelief rippling through boardrooms from Silicon Valley to Seoul. Meanwhile, Washington's silence speaks volumes, perhaps a sign of panic, confusion, or frantic attempts to draft a response. Taiwan's TSMC, the crown jewel of the chip industry, suddenly finds its comfortable lead shrinking, and the entire sector is now scrambling to assess what this means for the balance of power. To understand the scale of this, you need to know why a 2 nanometer chip is such a monumental milestone. Transistors, the microscopic switches inside every processor, are the beating heart of modern electronics. Shrinking them means fitting more into the same space, which translates directly into more power, more efficiency, and the ability to run tasks that were previously impossible. Artificial intelligence, advanced simulations, autonomous systems, these all demand the highest computing speeds, and two nanometer chips open doors to levels of performance never seen before. To put this in perspective, the width of a human hair is about 80,000 nanometers. Now imagine engineering at 2 nanometers. This is like packing an entire galaxy of technology into a space no bigger than a... Right now, Apple's cutting-edge M3 chip is built on a 3 nanometer process, and even that has revolutionized phones and laptops, making them faster, cooler, and more battery efficient. TSMC is working on its own 2 nanometer process, but it hasn't rolled it out on a large scale yet. Intel, once the undisputed leader in chips, is still transitioning from 7 nanometers and only beginning to catch up at 3. In this race, China was supposed to be years, if not decades, behind. Instead, SMIC has closed the gap almost overnight. The metaphor is clear. While the U.S. is fine-tuning a sports car, China has suddenly launched a rocket ship. The implications extend far beyond smartphones or laptops. With two nanometer chips, China could seize a decisive edge in artificial intelligence. Faster, more efficient processors mean quicker model training, sharper data analysis, and the capacity to run complex AI systems at unprecedented speeds. AI isn't just a technological frontier. It's the next battlefield of economic and military power. Whoever dominates AI will shape industries, economies, and even national security for decades. If SMIC and China hold the key to this advantage, the global balance could shift in ways that Washington has desperately tried to prevent. But the real story lies in how SMIC managed this miracle under suffocating restrictions. At the center of advanced chip making is EUV, or extreme ultraviolet lithography, a technology so complex that only one company in the world, ASML in the Netherlands, can supply the machines. EUV was supposed to be the lock on the door keeping China out. Without it, producing anything smaller than 7 nanometers should have been nearly impossible. Yet SMIC has seemingly broken through by pushing older technology, deep ultraviolet lithography, DUV, to its limits. Using an ingenious method called multi-patterning, they stitched together layer upon layer of circuits with precision so fine it borders on impossible. Think of it like carving a cathedral with a blunt chisel instead of precision tools. It's slower, more complicated, but if mastered, it can deliver results that rival the best. SMIC has turned outdated machinery into a revolutionary weapon, proving that necessity really is the... There's another twist, collaboration. Huawei, another giant hobbled by US sanctions, has been pouring billions into chip research. Rumors across the tech industry suggest SMIC and Huawei quietly teamed up, blending SMIC's manufacturing capacity with Huawei's RNMP, D-Muscle. Like two stranded climbers roped together, they've scaled a mountain everyone thought was unclimbable. This partnership could be the hidden engine behind the two nanometer leap, a silent alliance forged under pressure and fueled by survival. And let's not forget China's broader strategy. For over a decade, Beijing has been building self-sufficiency into its tech industry, brick by brick. From sourcing its own silicon wafers to manufacturing chemicals and developing homegrown equipment, 
China has built supply chains designed to be sanction-proof. SMIC doesn't need to beg foreign suppliers for the raw ingredients of chip-making. It has its own domestic ecosystem ready to deliver. This independence is like having your own farm, your own kitchen, and your own tools. You don't have to depend on anyone else, which means no one can starve you out. All of this paints a picture that the West never expected to see so soon. China not just surviving sanctions, but thriving under them. By innovating with what they had, collaborating behind the scenes, and building national self-reliance, SMIC has pulled off a coup that could rewrite the future of technology. The world thought the semiconductor race would be led forever by Silicon Valley and Taiwan. But now, a new contender has entered the ring, and it isn't just catching up, it's threatening to lead. The question is no longer whether China can make advanced chips. The question is how far ahead it will go, and how the rest of the world can possibly keep up. When everything is laid bare, SMIC's achievement doesn't just look extraordinary, it looks inevitable. What we are witnessing is not merely the success of a company, but the culmination of an entire nation's determination to overcome barriers that were specifically designed to keep it chained down. Against unprecedented sanctions, export bans, and coordinated Western resistance, SMIC has pulled off, something the world was told could not happen. They've taken older, restricted technology, reshaped it with ingenuity, and created a pathway forward that bypasses every blockade. Piece by piece, they have built a semiconductor ecosystem so fortified, so insulated, that it no longer bends to... This is not a simple milestone. It's a statement of power. SMIC and Huawei are not merely building chips. They are carving out independence. Every transistor etched into silicon carries a message. China no longer accepts technological dependency. This is resilience reborn, a relentless march towards sovereignty, a rewriting of the global order. The rules written in Washington and Brussels were meant to define the game forever. But SMIC just tore those rules to pieces. For decades, the United States and its allies controlled the choke points of progress. Sophisticated lithography machines from ASML in the Netherlands, chip design software from American firms, manufacturing techniques closely guarded by Japan and Korea, all combined to form a wall that was supposedly impenetrable. By cutting China off, Washington believed it had locked the gate to advanced semiconductors. But SMIC did not stop at the gate. They dug tunnels underneath, they built ladders over the top, they constructed an entirely new door from scratch. Today that door has swung open, and behind it lies a chip technology that most experts swore China could not create without Western permission, a two nanometer processor. And the timing of this breakthrough is nothing short of earth-shaking. Chips are not just another industry, they are the skeleton of the digital age. They breathe life into artificial intelligence, guide precision weapons, power satellites and supercomputers, and sustain the flow of information that keeps economies alive. Whoever controls chips doesn't simply control technology, they control the destiny of nations. So when SMIC unveiled its 2 nanometer capability, the announcement did not echo, it detonated. It was a thunderclap across capitals from Washington to Brussels, from Tokyo to Taipei. Yet what followed was not outrage, not retaliation, but silence. A silence so profound it felt almost surreal. No emergency addresses from the White House. No fiery speeches in Congress. No dramatic sanctions announcements. Nothing. Just an eerie, hollow quiet. That silence tells the real story. It is the silence of a superpower caught completely unprepared. Washington was bracing for gradual steps, perhaps five nanometers, then four, but not this. Not a leap so dramatic it shattered every prediction. It was a blow straight to the gut, and in that moment, the United States did not know how to respond. But behind that silence, the machinery of power is grinding furiously. In hidden boardrooms and midnight strategy sessions, policymakers are searching for answers. They know the stakes. The United States already deployed its strongest weapons. Export controls, blacklists, diplomatic pressure campaigns, bans on EUV technology, restrictions on advanced design software. And yet SMIC broke through. If this holds, it means years of carefully crafted restrictions have failed. Failed spectacularly. And failure of this scale is unacceptable. So the question now is not whether the US will respond, but how. Expect broader sanctions aimed not just at individual companies, but at China's entire domestic supply chain. 
Expect heavier pressure on allies like Japan, Korea, and the Netherlands to harden their lines. Expect Washington to hunt down every last gap, every last loophole that allowed SMIC to push forward. Because in Washington's eyes, this isn't just about a company outsmarting sanctions. It's about the balance of global power slipping away. And while Washington plans, America's tech giants are already trembling. NVIDIA, the undisputed emperor of AI chips, fuels the global revolution in artificial intelligence. From ChatGPT-style chatbots to autonomous vehicles, from robotics to data centers, NVIDIA chips are everywhere. But what happens if SMIC can mass-produce its two nanometer chips tailored for AI? Cheaper, backed by Beijing's bottomless resources and produced on home soil. Suddenly, NVIDIA is staring down not just a competitor, but a nation-backed juggernaut capable of dismantling its market dominance. Intel, once the proud leader of global chip-making, already lags behind. Its 7 nanometer chips are late, its market share eroding, its relevance questioned. Now SMIC threatens to leapfrog it entirely. If SMIC scales production, Intel could find itself obsolete, not in 10 years but in 2. Markets that are less tied to US geopolitics, Latin America, Africa, Southeast Asia, could abandon Intel overnight in favor of Chinese chips that deliver more power for less cost. Qualcomm, meanwhile, built its empire on smartphones, relying heavily on TSMC's cutting-edge factories to keep it at the forefront. But what happens if SMIC can deliver alternatives, faster, more efficient, and at prices Qualcomm cannot match? Suddenly, Qualcomm's grip on the mobile market doesn't just weaken, it shatters. In a matter of years, Qualcomm could watch its global dominance collapse like sand slipping through fingers. And above them all, looming like a giant, stands TSMC in Taiwan. The crown jewel of global chipmaking, TSMC manufactures the world's most advanced semiconductors, anchoring both Taiwan's economy and America's military supply chain. Its 3 nanometer and 5 nanometer chips remain the benchmark. But SMIC's 2 nanometer breakthrough threatens to topple this hierarchy. If China can mass produce, TSMC's golden lead evaporates. The danger for Taiwan is existential. Its economy leans so heavily on TSMC that a decline in dominance could trigger financial catastrophe. But there's more. Taiwan is not just an economy, it is a geopolitical flashpoint. Washington leans on TSMC to secure its military edge, while Beijing claims Taiwan as its own territory. Already, TSMC faces fines and penalties from Washington for allegedly supplying Huawei. And now, with SMIC rising, Taiwan is trapped in a tightening vice, pulled by Beijing, squeezed by Washington, its future more uncertain than ever. This is why the implications are far bigger than technology. This is about power. Chips are the foundation of military dominance, economic supremacy, and geopolitical influence. If China achieves full independence in semiconductors, the West loses its greatest weapon, the ability to dictate the flow of chips, to threaten sanctions, to control who advances and who stagnates. Suddenly, nations across the globe, especially those tired of U.S. leverage, could turn to China, where chips are cheaper, more accessible, and free of political strings. But here lies the critical challenge. Prototypes are not production. Building one successful 2 nanometer chip is a monumental feat but producing millions reliably is an entirely different war. Yield rates, how many chips come out flawless, are the ultimate test. Already, leaks suggest SMIC struggles with perfection, facing defects when pushing the limits of DUV multi-patterning, the older and slower method forced by EUV restrictions. This is their Achilles heel. And yet, China does not back down. Billions are being funneled into semiconductor development. Research hubs are springing up. Universities, state-owned enterprises, and private giants are aligning under one mission, chip independence. Huawei, battered but unbroken, pours relentless investment into RNA D, working with SMIC to refine designs, improve yields, and accelerate breakthroughs. Experts predict mass production by 2025 or 2026. But history suggests China might move faster, much faster. Because China does not see this as a race for profit. It sees it as a battle for destiny. Every UN, every engineer, every policy is being marshaled toward one singular outcome. To ensure that no foreign nation ever holds China's future hostage again. And with that level of mobilization, timelines can collapse. If SMIC succeeds in mass-producing two nanometer chips, 
especially for AI, the consequences are staggering. AI is not just another technology, it is the key to military superiority, economic efficiency, and societal transformation. Imagine a world where China controls the AI chips that run autonomous weapons, predict economic markets, manage energy grids, and power global communication. The West would no longer be the gatekeeper. It would be the follower. The question now is brutally simple, not if, but when. When will SMIC cross from prototype to mass production? When will Huawei deploy these chips across AI platforms? When will China flood the global market with alternatives too cheap and too powerful to ignore? And when that moment arrives, will the United States and its allies be prepared? Or will they wake up one morning to discover that the technological future has already shifted eastward, leaving them scrambling to catch up, powerless to reverse the tide? The countdown has begun. The race is alive.